Hey everyone, it's all Henley Films here today, and today I'm just going to be basically giving you my predictions for what's going to happen in Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. And these are new predictions. These are my own ones. These aren't the same ones you've seen on, on the internet over and over and over again. These are new. These are mine. Some of them are the same, one or two, but most of them are my own picks of what I think and what I would like to see happen in The Last Jedi. Let's take a look. The Clone Army Returns. Now, I'm not saying that the Clone Army will come back as it did in the prequels in the Clone Wars TV show for the First Order, where it's the entire army is made up of Jango Fett clones. But what I'm more saying is, Kylo Ren, when he says in The Force Awakens that perhaps Supreme Leader Snow should consider using a clone army, what I'm thinking more likely what could happen is Kylo Ren has a squad of clones that are like his boys, those are his guys, and they just do whatever he says and they're the best, they're the elite, because he wants clones, because he thinks that the Jango Fett clones are superior to the just regular human stormtroopers. So that's what I'm, th I think, I also think that they could just, just pop up randomly, that they're spread out, that they found some Jango Fett DNA, but it would be more of an easter egg, and you could say this is bias, because if you're a fan of the channel, then you know I'm a big fan of the clones and would love to see them come back. But this is just one of my predictions that I would love to see happen in The Last Jedi. Rey and Finn will not meet up again in The Last Jedi. Why do I think this will happen, that Finn and Rey will not meet at all during this movie? Is I feel that there's too much time that needs to be spent on these two different characters. And I feel that Rey's time will mostly be spent with Luke on whatever, I don't remember what the planet's name was. And Finn will spend time with the Resistance doing whatever he's doing. I don't think the two characters will ever see each other again in this movie. I think it could happen in the next movie. I could be wrong, though. They could meet up at the end. But I think they aren't going to see each other much. If if anything, they're not going to see each other much in this movie. They're not going to see each other. That's that's my full-on prediction. I feel that they they got two different stories going on. And I don't think they're going to be like it was in Force Awakens where they intertwined throughout the whole thing. I just... I don't see that happening. The death of Princess Leia. So as tough as this prediction is to say, because it's a beloved Princess Leia is a beloved character, I do think she will bite the dust in this film. I just with the death of Carrie Fisher, there's no there's really no way that we can keep her around any longer. I mean, I know the episode eight went through some rewrites and stuff, so it kinda of points towards they probably wrote Leia out at some point. In some way, they managed to kill her off. I think she'll bite the dust, mostly just due to the fact that Carrie Fisher has passed away, and there's really no point in trying to keep her around any longer when you're not going to be able to get her back, and there will be no CGI recreation of her. So I'm pretty sure that Princess Leia will sadly perish in The Last Jedi. Bounty Hunters. So this prediction, I've never heard of this prediction before, and it's my own prediction that I could see happening is that in The Last Jedi we get a new Boba Fett. Not necessarily like Captain Phasma where the same characters, they look cool and but there's they don't really do anything. I'm talking about we get a new bounty hunter, a big bounty hunter. It would be great if it would be a Mandalorian bounty hunter. I'd be all up for that. Someone who's trying to take up the Boba Fett mantle like Kylo Ren's trying to take up the Darth Vader mantle. That'd be great. I'd love that. And that they have something to do with hunting down Finn for the First Order that they pay them. It doesn't have to be Mandalorian. That'd be good, that'd be great if it was, but if it was some sort of new bounty hunter that was kind of like that, that, then I predict that there's gonna, there might be some bounty hunter that the First Order has hired to go try and find Finn and Rose and Poe Dameron and the rest of the Resistance. I could really see that happening in this film. The Force Ghosts come back. So for the final prediction is, again, I think it's the second one you guys have heard, is that Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Yoda will show up in The Last Jedi as for Force Ghosts. I think Anakin will be played by Hayden Christensen, and Obi-Wan Kenobi will be played by Ewan McGregor, and we might see a couple other Jedi that we've seen before from the Council. I mean, maybe Qui-Gon Jinn, Mace Windu. I mean, both of them are, were openly, they openly wanted to, you know, kind of come back, especially Samuel L. Jackson and Liam Neeson came, sort of came back through a webcam, I think, in a, this year's Star Wars Celebration, and I know Hayden Christensen showed up, and it was the first time in a long time that he'd actually shown up to 
was it 10 years maybe? Uh, Star Wars Celebration. So that's got to point to something that, especially when there was the time with The Last Jedi is going to come out this year, that means something. And Ewan McGregor definitely wants to come back as Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I think most likely, out of any of these predictions I just made, that this is the one that will happen. Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Yoda will show up as Force Ghosts in The Last Jedi. I think Rey will probably talk to all three of them at one point, but I think it will start off with her either talking to Obi-Wan or Anakin. And I want to say Anakin. I want to say she starts talking off, starts talking with Anakin first. Somehow she manages, she does something, she starts talking to Anakin, and Anakin tells her about that he's Luke's dad, and he's Darth Vader. And I think that would be really great. I think it will happen. That's my, that's my number one prediction, and that's also my number one prediction that I'm hoping happens. So uh, that's it, guys, for what I got for my predictions for The Last Jedi. The, again, these are, most of these are new that you don't really see over and over and over again on the Internet. No Snoke theory is nothing. I, these are my new predictions that I think will happen, and uh, tell me in your, what your predictions are in the comments below. Feel free to say so, and... You know, when we skip that Last Jedi trailer this Monday on Monday Night Football, I'll be watching that because I just like football and I'll be watching the game anyway. But that gives me more of a reason to watch halftime, which I normally don't. So tell me your predictions. What do you think will happen? Do you agree with mine? And I hope you're excited for The Last Jedi. I know I am. We're only two months away, guys. It's crazy, and I'm already super excited for it. So thanks for watching, guys. All Heavenly Films.